When we first thought about planning Stu, it was like, how do we set this up? Because we wanted there to be this people presenting, people voting, but it was also the, this idea that everything would have to be sort of an engaged cultural you know, production. We went down to the park one day and we, we were all down there and taking like kind of a survey of, of all the things that we would have to work with. Kind of walked and wrote it. Yeah, that was like our biggest source, food coming from the park. So we all kind of talked about the menu together. That was like, Back and this is a little much. <laughs> Just broke. <laughs> yeah, like this, like three days ago. It couldn't be any worse than this. I love the, the, the hand engraving on it. The little chrysanthemum there, that's the mark of the brand. Uh, Kuichi, man, like mm -hmm. she, actually the oldest knife maker in Japan. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't speak Japanese. But salt, salt is probably the most important thing in cooking. More than anything, you know, it, it allows you to taste. It opens up your taste buds. I mean, you know, there's a fine line between salty food and, and seasoned food. Salt is to cooking as the air is to breathing. Do we need anything from anywhere else while I'm over there? It's gonna be like two presenters presenting proposals, and then there'll be kind of like an ongoing you know, social justice campaign. Very few things that connect us like the food does. It's basic uh, elementary function. Blanching. An act of dropping anything into boiling water and stopping the cooking process very quickly in most all cases with ice water. All of the vegetables come from either from Participation Park or Calvert Skip Farm. And all of the lettuce, turnips, radishes, kale. The fact that there's not like a really soft line between the two of them. Like the park and the stuff in the beginning. The cooking thing, like Matt and I working out the city from below, such a large scale. And this is a bit smaller, but the, the menu is so much larger. When I'm listening to a painting and, it, and it's pushing back and you're talking, that it's different than in this thing you're, you're talking to people or you're listening to people and so what's at stake there is is different that is fundamentally different when you're in these settings you have to it's different with a human relationship what do you think the best way is to do this exactly like, that order then and scrub them and then sit in there and then and they're done there are recipes for baking and it's more like a science experiment i'm building a boat right now out of 55 gallon plastic drums 19 feet you know where you would launch it yeah, I don't want to put them down. <laughs> Chef, if you work in a place that makes food, they just, it's like captain on a boat or something. Yeah, like exactly. That. It's the title to like, who has this responsibility. Yeah. Just so good. Oh, it's good. Yeah. It's the biggest cliche in the world. Yeah, that's one of the things we're interested in. Just the whole artistic side of things, the creative side, like freedom of expression kind of idea. So, yeah, let's start table moving. arrangements. If you're not giving back to what you're taking, it's gonna run out. More often than not, it's the point where you're in between sleep and being awake that I think of most things and actually have the wherewithal to, to remember them. You know, the experience that I had as a kid around the table sharing meals and how important that was. We all have to eat. It's more basic.